Have you guys ever been playing a game in Roblox and you thought, hmm, maybe there are some secret things or hidden Easter eggs around this map that I could probably find? And you were probably right because often game developers really love hiding Easter eggs for people to find. I feel like it just makes extra content to the game. It's really fun and you can spend more time on that game that you love playing. So I am here to share with you 10 secrets in Roblox that will astonish you. Number one, this comes from the game Granny. In the Roblox version of Granny, you can find Slenderina and Slenderina's mother. But first, we're going to be talking about Slenderina, which is number one. After you spawned into the second floor, make your way to the back and crawl through a back, through like a little back room. And in this little white closet room thing, you can click on a button in the corner, upper right hand corner, which opens up a hidden room, a little black hidden room. Instead of that room, you will find a teddy bear which then you need to take to the attic once you are there take away the boards so you can get through and then drop the teddy in the crib after you wait a little bit you will meet slenderina and also get a cool badge number two granny again but this time let's meet the mother if you head back down to the second floor and walk into the room to the right and knock down the picture frame by walking into it this will reveal a switch and you need to activate the switch. It will make the bookcase move over and a hidden room will appear. And now all you need to do is find the book that goes on the lectern. And that can easily be found downstairs. Once you get the book, you need to bring it back upstairs and place it down where it belongs. So on the lectern. Once you do that, Slendering his mom should appear along with earning another badge. Now, I believe for the first two, for both of those, the maps have changed quite a bit because I did go and try to go on to the actual game. But it seems like after a while, the game has gotten some map updates and the rooms and the stuff on the game does not look the same as it would in the screenshots that I have for you guys. By the way, all screenshots and all information here I have gotten from the channel Fudzo or Fuds or something like that. I've gotten all this information from the channel Fuds. He is a great Roblox YouTuber. He does a bunch of these videos and this was very helpful when I was doing my research. So all the credit goes to him who actually found these secrets. Number three, ha, Granny, again, wow. So for this one, it's pretty simple. You'll need to be on the office map for this one. Once again, I don't know if this map still exists because the game has gone through a bunch of changes since then. Once you spawn in and make your way to the corner room, which has a big table in the middle of it, looking like it would be there for meetings. Once you're there, you need to crouch and look out this specific window and click on Slender Man's head. After a while, he should disappear and then you should also get a badge. Number four, Meep City. Make your way to the school and and this is how to get into the teacher's lounge. To get to the teacher's lounge, run around in through the cafeteria area. To your left, you will find that there is a basement door. Through the basement, you need to go straight to the vent above the shelf. After some running, you will eventually find yourself inside the teacher's lounge. Once you're there, you can use some cool appliances and that's just about it. But it is a cool little Easter egg to find your way through the vent. Number five, Meep City again. You can actually get to a locked gaming room through the basement as well, but this time the vent is on the ground. I believe all you need to do is turn to your right once you walk down into the basement and then there should be a vent on the ground behind some boxes. Just go through the vent and then eventually you will hit the gaming room. Now there is a locker down there and you can name that locker for yourself. It's just you have to go through the vent to get to your locker each time. <laughs> Number five, make a cake. When you spawn into the game, all you need to do is go to where the dough spawns and walk against the belt like walk the opposite way that the belt is flowing once you do that you will eventually see a green ladder and you need to climb it once you climb it you will find luigi why i don't know and once you touch the image 
turn around and you'll have a lovely Luigi face. Why that's a part of a game for cake making, don't know, but it is a fun little Easter egg and it gives you a little something extra to do if you're bored. Number seven, mini games or epic mini games. When you try to glitch into the door in the cave, you can see that nothing is behind there, but that will all change very, very soon. First, you will need to go over to the skull in the cave and click it. After that, you need to go to the spawn area and then where the pool is, but not the actual pool, just the room outside of the pool. And then there is a rainbow hat on a shelf or a desk, and then you will click that. Then walk across the hall and click on the wizard's hat on the end table next to the couch. One last hat to find, guys. Next, you need to go out to the campfire and find the chicken hat. It should be on a ledge of some sort. You do need to jump onto some boxes to get to it. Then return to the game door. Now it should be open and you should get the secret finder badge. Once again, I feel like this one is really, really cool just because it's kind of like a little treasure hunt, you know? Like you go around, find all these secret items, click them, and then once you do, that door will magically open, and then and then you get like a really cool badge. And I feel like that one's really, really cool because a lot of thought and a lot of coding probably had to go into that. Number eight, Meadows Ranch. Now, this is a game where you go to work on a ranch and you scoop up manure. Um, which is poop by the way so if you don't know what Meadows Ranch is I'm just explaining that to you now so I can explain to you how to get to the secret so the secret is going to be a better wheelbarrow because you know you scoop poop into the wheelbarrow yeah you're gonna want to head off to work by clicking the menu in your left hand corner of the screen and then clicking the work icon just to start off shuffle some poop into your normal wheel into your normal wheelbarrow and empty it out behind the barn. Once you do that, now the better wheelbarrow should have spawned. You can go off and find yours somewhere behind a tree. I believe it spawns in a couple different areas. You just have to look around for it. And now you can carry more poop. Ain't that great? but only for three loads. Number nine, designer. Walk over to the wall and position yourself on the corner, the curved part of the wall, and then turn your camera all the way around and zoom in. Once you zoom in, you should be in a little hallway and a secret message is uncovered, but it's intentionally cut off. So will we ever read what the message actually says? You never know. So this glitching thing, you can do this in any game if you're up against a wall. So you think if something is behind a wall that you want to get to, you can honestly just turn your camera around and zoom in and you should glitch through that same wall. It should work for any wall, honestly, within any game of Roblox. But this one is special just because there you can find like a space secret message, but the secret message is kind of it's kind of bad because you know uh -huh, it's cut off and number 10 the last and a final secret guys this is the last and final one and this comes from murder mystery 2 once you spawn into the christmas map this is the christmas map by the way guys you need to jump onto the green roof that will be right around the christmas tree and jump into the window right beside it it's going to be level with you and once you jump into that window into the other building you will go into a room and find yourself in a room with some sort of weird shrine of the meme master question mark yeah this is kind of a creepy one but it's still fun because it's kind of just like a little easter egg inside a murder mystery but that is gonna be it for me guys i know this video is a little short but these secrets go by really quickly and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like the video and also make sure to comment down below. Tell me some of your favorite secrets in any games in Roblox. I would love to hear about them. And also subscribe. And if you have subscribed, make sure to comment down below that you have subscribed. That way you are entered into the monthly shout out giveaway where we shout out one lucky person at the end of each month. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.